Defense Intelligence of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine has reported the losses of the Russian personnel after the sinking of the Russian patrol ship Sergei Kotov in occupied Crimea. According to the preliminary reports, the attack on the patrol ship Sergei Kotov, which led to the destruction of the vessel, resulted in losses among the Russian occupiers, 7 irreversible, 6 sanitary. Reportedly, 52 members of the crew were likely evacuated. Ukraine's intelligence has published intercepted conversations of the Russians detailing the destruction of the Russian patrol ship Sergei Kotov. I understand you are referring to the tragic nighttime incident. Five unmanned boats attacked the small patrol ship Kotov, which, along with us, is on duty for air defense and it is under my command, according to intercepted conversations of the commander of the 184th Novorossiysk Coastal Defense Brigade, under whose command Sergei Kotov's ship was operating. The Russian reported that Sergei Kotov was attacked by five unmanned boats, adding that there was also a helicopter on board, so sources stated that a Ka-29 shipborne combat transport helicopter was destroyed, such patrol ships are equipped with a helicopter pad, hangar and storage facilities for fuel to accommodate deck aircraft. The crew of Sergei Kotov practiced helicopter deck landings for the first time in 2021. UK helps Ukraine carry out attacks against the Russian Black Sea Fleet. The Kyiv's regime's attacks against the Russian Black Sea Fleet were directed by UK Special Services, Russian Foreign Ministry, spokeswoman Maria Zakharova told RTVI. It has been detected that the British, along with the US, acted as spotters, supplying the Kyiv regime with coordinates of targets. As for the terrorist attacks against the Black Sea Fleet, they were literally conducted under the direction of British Special Services, she said. Zakharova made the remarks commenting on reports that UK's Chief of the Defence Staff, Admiral Tony Radikin, played a significant role in developing Ukraine's military strategy in the Black Sea. The diplomat also said the Russian Foreign Ministry has repeatedly pointed to evidence of traces of British special services in anti-Russian activity and in the fighting in Ukraine as well as in the implementation of terrorist attacks. In general, the question that should be asked is not about Britain's involvement in separate episodes of the conflict in Ukraine, but about the unleashing and participation of London in the anti-Russian hybrid war, Zakharova said. Earlier, Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov said the UK is helping Ukraine and is effectively directly involved in the conflict. Overall, it is no secret to anyone that the British are indeed providing various types of support to Ukraine, both with people on the ground and intelligence and so on and so forth. That is, they are practically directly involved in this conflict. The Kremlin official said, commenting on an article in The Times, that the UK Defence Secretary allegedly was clandestinely helping Ukraine develop combat plans. Ukraine at risk of cascading frontline collapse. New York Times. Ukraine's worsening lack of ammunition and battle fatigue will most likely force Kiev to abandon its current frontline positions unless it receives new aid from the West, the New York Times reported. The paper said that Ukrainian defences near the key stronghold of Avdiivka in Russia's Donetsk region are reeling under relentless attacks and Kiev's problems extend beyond one single battle. Ukrainian troops, the New York Times added, are exhausted and suffer from a lack of weapons and ammunition, especially with regard to air defense systems. According to unnamed U.S. officials interviewed by the outlet, Kiev only has enough air defense assets to last until March unless it receives new shipments. This is far from certain, as the US, Ukraine's main backer, is locked in congressional gridlock over President Joe Biden's request to approve a $118 billion security bill, $60 billion of which is earmarked for Kiev. Many Republicans have been reluctant to support the measure, claiming it does too little to improve security on the border with Mexico. Western officials believe that without US aid, a cascading collapse along the front line is a real possibility in 2024, the article says. Nevertheless, they reportedly estimate that it will take at least a couple of months for the shortages to take a toll. 
according to analysts, by March, Ukraine could be struggling to carry out local counter-attacks, and by summer, Kiev could find it difficult to repel Russian assaults. Without continued U.S. support, New York Times sources say it's hard to see how Ukraine will be able to maintain its current positions on the battlefield. Ukrainian officials have repeatedly complained of a shortage of ammunition, calling it a very real and pressing problem. Meanwhile, the Financial Times reported, citing a senior EU official, that it will not be easy for the Europeans to substitute for the U.S.